I'm working on a 2001 Suzuki XL7 binary file in Ghidra and Winnells. The map we found in Winnells, we threw it in Ghidra and traced its X and Y values in Ghidra back to an address that we were able to input back into Winnells to give our X and Y. I'm really new to all this. I sent this binary file to a guy that I found on Facebook and he actually uh, dug through real quick and found my AFR and timing maps. These are my AFR maps. The normalizers or scalars or whatever you call them, X and Y values, they don't exist um, in this portion of the binary file preceding the map um, where you would typically like to find them at least. So right now, Winnells just has 1, 2, 3 populated. Winnells didn't actually identify the maps at all. So that's what we're doing in Ghidra. So we're going to start with this one here. We're going to copy address. So G, paste the address we found in the map right there. And there's no, there's no identifiers here. No reference points, no nothing. Going to move on to the next one. Copy address. While we're here, we're just going to drop a label. Okay, here's the next one's address. Okay. Okay, so here we're going to hit P and P. So these are pointers. We're going to look back at the uh, hex dump. Here. Let's grab this right here. Drop it into Winnells. Okay, so an 8 bit view, 16 bit view. Okay. Okay. So let's. This is, no, this. This is that data point. All right, let's call this our 3D structure. I think these are, these are X and Y is my guess. So we're going to template this. I don't know if this is right or wrong, but we're going to say byte, byte, pointer. Oh, we already did that. And then byte, so pointer, pointer, byte. Just from previous maps that I've been looking at on uh, there's a different truck of mine that I've been working on mostly but this 10 so that's a hexa this is a hexadecimal 10 its decimal value is 16 and this is a 16 by 10 map so that could be telling us that X is a length of 16 we're going to create a structure real quick We're going to go byte, byte, pointer, pointer, byte. Unknown, unknown. We're going to call this X. We're going to call this Y. We're going to call this X length. Name is going to be 3D struct. Save. And then let's test it out. So T, 3D, enter, confirm. Okay, I like this. Okay, this is AFR2. It's the second AFR map, anyways. 
Oh, you know what it didn't do? I'd like to copy that first. Oh dear lord. There we go. AFR2. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's jump over to this pointer data. Okay, we just saw this. So that's a pointer. Here's a 10 again, so that's 16. Bite, bite. That is consistent with what I was suggesting. If this is X and this is Y, apply the logic X and Y 16 we know X is 16 long let's look at this one real quick this is Y hypothesized a is 10 that was a 10 by 16 map right yeah and Y is 10 okay that's what we're rolling with don't know till you know but it's a good assumption anyways. Okay, let's look at this FFFFA2FC. FFFFFA2FC, who knows what that is. But I'm, I'm confident, this is X and Y, that's what this is. Okay, let's make a 2D structure real quick, because that's what this is. It's a scalar. I think is what people call it. So we're gonna go, what was that? A pointer, pointer, bite, bite, um, unknown, unknown, unknown again, and uh, length. Okay, and we're calling this just a 2D. We're saving that. Let's apply it, oops, T. 2D, enter, enter. 2D structure, it changed the name. This can foul you up sometimes. You need to be paying attention to that. Okay, we're gonna copy this and, uh, well, we'll wait to name it for a second. How's that? Yeah, this looks good. I'm trying to be nice and concise, but. I hope that I'm not leaving out information as I go. Okay, we got our 2D structures. We have our AFR2 3D structure. Let's apply the X and Y values. Okay, so what we learned a minute ago with the AFR, the 3D map, we'll say. What we learned with the map was Winnells shows the data starting at 7 EAB, but it is referenced, you know, what, five, 16 bytes off, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Um, anyways, so Gidra calls it here, but the map exists at this address. So that's probably going to be true for this 2D scalar. Gidra calls it, or the machine code calls at B762, but we are going to enter in B76C. We're going to copy that, and remember this is X, so we're going to go into here, properties, X, EEPROM, paste. Consistent. We're going to Shift it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it there. Okay. Go to Kidra. Go to Y. Copy where the map starts. Y. EEPROM. B796. Looks alright. Both of them are 16 bit low high. Well, one's at, one's at high low. Who knows what they are? So, this is where a lot of fooling around takes place is trying to make 
um, what are the actual values these are supposed to be reading back to you? We do, I am confident just by looking at the map and uh, learning a little bit off the Evo map, um, the top X is RPM and Y is load. Um, it makes sense with the way the map is oriented also. Obviously these numbers aren't true, but you can see their value here. Or maybe even the inversion of their value. The map we found in Winnells, we threw it in Gidra and traced its X and Y values in Gidra back to an address that we were able to input back into Winnells to give our X and Y. Um, 